Hey, I'm Mechanical Engineer. And I'm Joshua Ray, and today we're going to build a multi-pitcher. This is my friend Josh from church, and he has come up with an idea to build a multi-pitcher. But what is a multi-pitcher? The multi-pitcher is a pitcher that can hold two liquids in a one. So if I understand this right, the idea behind it is you can pour one or the other liquid or both at the same time for kind of like a half and half drink. Is that about right? Mm -hmm. Awesome sauce. So to get started right off the vat, I was originally thinking about using two regular pitchers connected together by some kind of valve system that could open and close each pitcher individually. And I think that was kind of along the lines of what Josh was thinking as well. But for reasons that I won't get into too deeply because I don't want to bore you guys, I realized that that method probably won't work the best for what we're trying to do. Primarily because if one pitcher was full and the other one mostly empty, you could not pour out from the empty pitcher without the full one overflowing, even if its valve was closed. Now I fully realize that you could solve this problem by putting a cap on top of these pitchers, very similar to a water bottle, but sadly that would add a whole new collection of problems to the equation and make things even more complicated. And so for this reason, I have decided to design the build around a water pump that will pump out the water for us. Not only will this make things a little bit easier for us, but I think it will also be a lot more fun to use. So let's get started on designing. Several seconds later. Okie dokie, hokey poke. So after thinking about and working on it for a while, I believe I have finally finished the design. The whole design centers around, of course, our two water pumps and then also two water bottles I found at the dollar store. These water bottles are perfect for the project because first of all, they have a screw off lid, which is very important. And second of all, the neck of our bottle is of course large enough to fit our water pump in, which is a necessity. So the idea is that we'll have the two water pumps suspended inside the bottle somehow attached to the caps. That way we can easily unscrew and remove the bottles to fill them up. Then of course all that's really left to do, well a very simplified version, is to somehow attach these bottles together to a handle and then of course to their power bank and power switches and we should be done. I've already designed the brackets for everything in my CAD software so after we print them out we can get to assembling. And here we are with the assembly totally complete. So as I'm sure you saw in the time lapse, we have two water pumps at the bottom of each bottle to pump out the liquid. Each bottle can unscrew and drop out through the bottom of the assembly to either fill the bottle or clean the bottle or the internal parts. As you can see, each water pump is mounted on a 3D printed rod which is bolted to the top of the bottle caps. The pumps then receive power through these waterproof power cables that are run out of the bottle lids and then down to our switches which are mounted inside our handle and our 4AA power bank. I then wired everything to the switches and covered the switch hole with that 3D printed door that you saw in the time lapse. And it's wired up in such a way that the left switch does the left pump, the right switch the right pump, and the top one runs both pumps at the same time. The pumps then pump the liquid through these plastic tubes and out of an angled nozzle at the front so that you don't even have to tilt the pitcher when you pour. And while we're on the switches that are in the handle, the handle also has a tail that sticks out that helps with stability when you set the bottle down. 
And then finally, on top of all that, this whole project is held together with screws and a few zip ties. So if something breaks, it's very easy to print a new piece and just bolt it back on. But enough with all the talk. Let's finally introduce this to Josh and see what he thinks. And so here we are with the finished multi-pitcher, but what do you think, Josh? Is this somewhat close at least to what you had envisioned? Yeah. You think so? Okay, awesome. Well, if he likes it, I like it. So I guess with that, the multi-pitcher is officially complete. But hey, thanks for watching, and I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, we, or at least one of us, will see you next time. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to subscribe.